Hey, it's Mason from MH Wedding Films, and today I'm gonna to show you how to export high quality Instagram reels from Premiere Pro. As we're all aware, reels are dominating Instagram right now. So if you haven't already jumped on the train, it's time to, and this is gonna help to elevate your video quality and get you the best Instagram reels for your Instagram account. So yeah, basically when you open up Premiere Pro, you should be greeted by a screen like this. You can go ahead and set up all of your um, project settings to whatever you need for your specific project. Uh, mine are already set up, so I'm just gonna show you how to set up your sequence at this point and we can continue on to make the reel. So basically if you come into your uh, bins right here, uh, you can just go ahead and right click, go new item, sequence, I've already got one made right here, but I'm gonna go through and show you how to do one from the start so that you can just uh, have one make it and we'll save it as a preset and you can just use it every time you come in. So we'll go to settings. Okay, so depending on your screen might look different than mine, but we're gonna just go based off what I have here and I will change as I go. Okay, so first things first, you want to make sure you are set to DSLR on the uh, editing mode. Uh, your time base should be 23.976 and then this is where it really matters right here so you, you can actually see mine is already set up to it I think it's because I already had a sequence set up but you can see right here right next to my cursor it says 9 by 16 that's the aspect ratio you want to have for an Instagram reel that basically is vertical video and that's gonna give you the exact frame that you need for it to fit in Instagram Reels perfectly so that you're not cutting anything off or cropping anything. It's gonna all fit into your Reel. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. So yeah, basically on your uh, width, you wanna go 1080 and your height will be 1920 if it's not. And then that will give you the 916th. And you can see if I flip it, I get, oops. If I flip it, I'm gonna get a normal 16 by nine ratio. So we're, we're, we're essentially just switching the 16 by nine ratio around and that gives us the wonderful Instagram reel. Boom. Okay, so the next thing you wanna make sure you have square pixels selected, no fields, uh, 23.976, rec 709, uh, this is fine, 4800. Basically now that we have all this set, we're actually gonna go in here and just go see save preset. So you can save it. You can name it whatever you want. I would just call it IG Reel. Leave it as that. Hit OK. I'm not going to because I already have one saved. So once you have hit OK, then your then every time you come to set up a reel uh, a sequence now, you're gonna have your sequence that we just made saved right here. So it'll be mine's story reel. So this is just a quick thing too. If you want to make Instagram stories as well. Oh, my light died. One second. Okay, so as I was saying, basically this sequence that we just made is gonna work for stories too. So if you wanna make a cool story on your Instagram, this is gonna work. I would just use a sequence for stories, reels, and that's it. You can see now our story reels one right here. It's set, we're good to go. Okay, boom, done. Okay, I'm just dragging in a piece of footage here. So you can see right away when you go to drag your footage in, it's gonna say the clip doesn't match the sequence settings. Just say keep existing settings, otherwise it's gonna switch you to whatever you shot your video at um, and then yeah basically you just kind of come in here adjust normally for me when I'm shooting 4k it's about 90 that the 90 percent scale will fill the uh, frame and then you just kind of got to find a spot that you like blah 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 whatever let's say this is edited into something so magical which is not right now but whatever say 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 that's what it is for now I'm just gonna make ins and outs you would render your sequence beautiful mm, that's my Instagram reel right there so now what I would do is we would focus on the export settings for your Instagram reel and this is gonna help you to maintain the best uh, quality you can get out of your footage so what we're gonna do is we are going to either hit control or Mac M and it's gonna pop up your export settings if that didn't work for you you can just come up and go file export media here we go. All right, so again, I have my export settings saved uh, as a preset, but we'll go through and we'll make these all um, as if we're doing it for the first time. So first thing, output name, save it to whatever you want. 
I'm just going to leave mine as IG Reels because I'm not actually going to export this. Um, so what we really want to do is just make sure that we have H.264 in the format. And then for preset, honestly, just leave, leave it as it is for now. We'll go through, we'll customize everything, and then we'll save it. So you can leave it at whatever it's showing right now. Okay, so we're going to come down here. We're going to deselect this right here. If yours, for whatever reason, doesn't show 1080 by 1920 like mine did here, I don't know why it wouldn't, but maybe it didn't, just go and punch it in yourself. 1080, 1920, boom, done. It should look exactly like your sequence did where it's the 9 by 16 ratio. And just make sure that these all match your sequence settings. So for example, if you changed it to 23.976, make sure your frame rate's 23.976 on the export as well. Um, for field order, you can leave it as progressive. If it's not progressive, just deselect it and make sure that it says progressive. Uh, and same with aspect, make sure it's on square pixels. We want to click render at max depth to get the best quality. And then this is also just personal thing too. If you have hardware coding available, I would definitely use it. If you don't, you don't. Reels are like 15 seconds long and it's not going to take you long to export these. So don't worry too much about the performance part. Besides the profile and the level, that's what you really need to focus on. Just make sure that your profile is high and your level is 5.2. Uh, HDR graphics, just leave it as it is. And then we want to make sure we are on VBR2 pass. I do my target bit rate uh, minimum to be 15 and my maximum to be 20. I find that this works perfect for me. There's not really any science behind this besides I've done trial and error on different ones and this one always comes out and seems to be the best for me in Instagram. So I definitely re would recommend doing 15 as your minimum and 20 as your maximum. And then that's pretty much it. Audio, we're going to just make sure that we have AAC and 4800 hertz selected right here. And yeah, that's it. And then make sure that you have maximum render quality right here selected. That's it. That's all. We're going to go to save preset. You're going to type in, this is my, no, just kidding. You're going to type in whatever you want to make this real preset or just reels, real slash stories, whatever you want to make it, save it. And then now whenever you come in to export every time, you should see your preset. Boom. Everything's exactly how you set it. Don't need to change it every time. And then basically you just come down to export. One thing I'm going to say though really quickly right now, sometimes I have issues with smoothness when it comes to, oh my God, is my hair bent the whole time? <laughs> Sometimes I have issues when it comes to smoothness and drone footage and things like that. I find when I'm doing like a tilt up or something, sometimes on Instagram, it does like a weird slow tick. Sometimes if you just switch this from frame, frame sampling to optical flow, I find that that can make your footage smooth and crisp and you don't have any issues with any kind of jittery, but I usually just use frame sampling and like you can see like I usually keep my reels like 15 to 20 seconds long. I don't go too much more than that. This is normally like less than 30 or it's not very high so like your export will be very very quick and then basically at that point you would just hit export and then get it to your iPhone in whatever way you see best I can go through and show you what I do here quickly okay so what I do normally if I'm on a I use PC and I have an iPhone so I just use Dropbox I just take my reels here I hit copy and then I just paste them into Dropbox and it starts loading and there, it's done. And then I would just open it up on my uh, iPhone and take it to Instagram from there. If you're on a Mac and you have an iPhone, just airdrop it. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it helps you to elevate your real game and take it to the next level. If you are just looking for a 1080p widescreen export for Instagram, I already shot a video on that and I'll put the tutorial link above in the video and I'll also include it in the links below. Thank you so much for watching and if you did learn something or you want to follow along for more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and like this video. You can also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we post new tutorials or just videos in general for weddings. Oh.